Now, I was really impressed with Nostalgia, which is a deeply personal film about whether one should follow through on the desire or drive to return to the past and whether our sense of home as a safe and idyllic place is necessarily matched by the actuality where the rough edges may, with the passage of time, be sidelined at the expense of the smooth. Our protagonist, Felice, has lived away from his hometown of Naples for 40 years and started a new and successful life as a businessman in North Africa. But upon returning to be reunited with his mother, he is tinged with a poignant and naive sense that this is where he belongs and should stay until the end. His return sparks a recollection that his reason for leaving in the first place is due to his association with a young gangster, now like him, facing his twilight years, who is not only still alive, but exerts a powerful hold over the local community and signals in very persuasive terms that he should disappear. But the wistful and quixotic feelings of nostalgia for the life Felice abdicated are thrown into sharp relief. And instead of exiting the town after his mother dies, his sole reason for returning to his home turf, he seeks to recreate the experiences of his youth, such as purchasing a motorcycle, which he drives around Naples in an effort to feel at one with his roots. Now, Nostalgia is a film which is skillfully constructed, playing with all the tropes most associated with nostalgia, including its 17th century origins, where it comprised a malady and a medical illness, rather than a condition of happiness and promise, in keeping with its more recent manifestations. It also plays with the shadow side of nostalgia, namely that of nostophobia, and the sense that the past may not have been quite so welcoming after all, and that nostalgia is at root a bittersweet enterprise where we are liable to lose our sense of perspective. As a film, nostalgia functions as a thriller, with the requisite suspense ingredients whereby we feel that the happier and more rooted our hero is, re-engaging with his past, the more he is liable to experience a profound sense of crisis. And we are haunted viscerally as we see the drama play out with what is a discombobulating sense of the juxtaposition between trying to rebuild a home, which is no longer welcoming, and a future which might entail a new and fresh sense of identity and family. Now, as someone who has made Nostalgia my project over many years, this film came as an enriching and multi-textured delight, confirming that the way we engage with our pasts are necessarily going to be infused with a range of emotions which are not necessarily good or helpful to us and that we may not be the most objective of observers or witnesses in our own lives, as rose-coloured spectacles can give way to danger, guilt and transgression, which will often fail to yield the much sought-after happy ending. Nostalgia has perhaps rarely looked this seductive, yet treacherous and uninviting at the same time. And the fact that a man of some means success and savviness should be so predisposed to misunderstand the cues and warnings he receives from the voices that come from his past is very revealing about the way nostalgia can blind as well as awaken the senses. Nostalgia is a film that beautifully encapsulates the paradoxes at its heart.